What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. So I did just post the uh, last episode that we watched, and there are a lot of you trying to show me <laughs> how exactly to get Andrea's ghost. Here we are. I, I never even showed you guys the retirement home. I feel like such a bad whatever I am. <laughs> I've brought us to the retirement home to see maybe if we can find an urn, but I am not seeing one. I also heard that sometimes the urns can go to the family inventory, so let me check there first. Can't do that since we're not on our property. Oh me. But yeah, this is where Andrea was living for like two days before she died. A uh, nice little place. No one lives here, so I can't even go in. Well, that doesn't do me any good, does it? So from the outside, I'm not seeing anything. Well, there is a graveyard right there. Oh, look, it's our sisters. Hi, sis. Okay, uh, heard you got a graveyard over here somewhere. Have you guys been hoarding, mom? I can't interact with any of these or any of these. Damn, this is a pretty nice place you guys got here. I won't live here. So I'm not seeing anything here. No gravestones, but we got some dirty freaking dishes. If I move someone into the retirement home, Maybe I can go in there and like, maybe there'd be an urn. No, that wouldn't make sense. <gasps> Andrea, <laughs> I need her goals. Okay, so what I went ahead and did just right now is I moved people into the retirement home for dads that I just found <laughs> on the gallery, potential daddies. And I'm gonna try to knock on their door and see if I can just go in there. There's literally no furniture here, which there was when Andrea was living here. So that's no good. Damn guys. I don't know. But at least we got four new dads in the world now. I feel like someone online was saying there's like a, a graveyard area, like a mausoleum or something, but I have no idea where that's at. I just want to find Andrea. If anyone else has any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Oh, Andrea. Well, let's just go home. In other news, I turned on whims, so that way we can start getting some points. I think I need like 3,000 or something like that for fertile stuff. I don't think I ever gave Christian a makeover either. Oh well. And we're just gonna get him to do some extra credit work so that hopefully tomorrow he'll age up and we can get him out. And then it'll just be us and our sweet angel babies. Go feed your baby. Why are you just standing there? So the name Hande, it's a Turkish name. Now there's one pronunciation video on YouTube and it says it's just pronounced hand and I'm like, that's not right. So I had to like go into like actual like pronunciation websites and find it. And the rest of those said Hande. So her name is Hande. <laughs> But yeah, as soon as as soon as we wake up, we'll age up Hande. Well, actually, as soon as we wake up, we will use the bathroom, and then we will age up Hande. Dude, no, you need to go to school. Leave my baby alone. Hande is silly. There's our first <laughs> little baby. Oh, honey. All right, kid, you know what to do. Time to start drawing with llama. Dude, that mac and cheese looks so good. Oh my god. Every time I play The Sims and my Sims start cooking stuff, I'm like, I need to eat whatever they're eating. Oh, she's coming in here to eat. Mac and cheese just to be with her little baby. Aww. Kid, what do you think you're doing? I didn't tell you you could stop. She's literally been eating that mac and cheese for like three hours. <laughs> Why would Rachel spread go juicy gossip about Nayeli? She's dead. That's not nice. Okay, anyway, um, he is still a B student, which is really frustrating, probably because he's sad, which is even more frustrating. Kayla was also telling me that I can sell all these gnomes, so uh, I, I'd like to do that. They're scary, and they're creepy, and I don't like them. 200 bucks, huh? Don't mind if I do. We gotta pay the bills somehow. Why do I have 17 decorative plates? I'd like to sell them all, please. <laughs> These were Andrea's awards. Since we can't keep her freaking ghost, we might as well keep her memory alive another way. Also, I just remembered you can like put terrain and stuff. I want some grass, man. I want to be the house on the block that has desert blooms in the front yard. I say the front yard, but I mean the whole yard. Except maybe around the pool, I don't know. Oh, we need to get one of his skills to level three. Go play some video games too. This is a video gaming family right now and this is what we do. Don't you cry in bed, you play the sim. That's my life's motto. Do we even have a gardening skill? No, we should probably get that up because I feel like you get a lot of money from gardening. Hey, we have a gardener here. I didn't realize I hired a gardener for every day. But if I hired a professional gardener, then why did I just throw like five plants away? Christian's got a performance gain. There's no way he's not gonna age up today. How is he still a B student? We got his video gaming skill up. He has excellent performance. How? Boy. I don't know what you doing in school, but it's not good enough. Oh good, Dax's spirit is fading away. No one cares, Dax. Nice knowing you, not. 
why is this kid like why does she have her own free will <laughs> usually if i tell them to play games or something on the ipad they, they do it for like ever but for some reason she just decides what she wants to do and that's annoying you go to high school mister if you don't come back with an a today <gasps> We're in labor. Oh, you know what? Everyone told me if I go and have a baby at the hospital, there's a higher chance for having multiples. Yay, we finally get to actually go. This is a new experience. Because before, it would just send her to the hospital, she'd disappear and come back. Well, now we get to be a part of the action. I haven't read anywhere that having babies at the hospital increases your chance of multiples, but that's what y'all are saying. So, we'll give it a shot. All right, girl. Now what do we do now that we're here? Check in, I guess. I can't attest to this. When you're in labor, they still make you check in. In The Sims and in real life. You ever tried signing a signature while you're in labor? You ever tried filling out papers while you're in labor? It's not easy. <laughs> Why is that a thing, America? Oh, uh, hey, sis. Diane's like, ooh, sis, you looking huge. Here we are. Extract my babies. Ooh, hello, Landon Berman. Can I, like, flirt with him? Whoa, was that a heart? He took my heart out? It's a boy named Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy LaFarge. So wonderful! So what now? We just go home? We're gonna have to start hanging up our birth certificates. How exciting! We got two little baby boys! Uh, you know, I'd like to have a quick a quick chat with our doctor though. Can I do that? Or like a quick flirt? Oh hey, Christian's an A student. Hey listen, doc. No! <laughs> we were getting somewhere. He looked like a fine candidate, if I do say so myself. So this is the first time we'll ever have to take care of two babies. Where are they? Hey, there's there's one. Where's the other baby? Where the hell's Jimmy? Oh, <laughs> what a random ass place for a baby. Why would you put it there? All right. Oh, hey, this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. <laughs> We're just having a chat. The 100 baby challenge that BuzzFeed is doing, they have it so that you can leave a comment and then like suggest baby names. I want to start doing that. If you guys have any suggestions for baby names, leave it in the comments below instead of doing the randomized thing and then we get names like Hyundai. No shade to anyone named Hyundai out there. It was just really out there. <laughs> Jimmy and Sunny, my sweet boys. Do we have a cake in here? Because we gotta get Christian out of the house. No cake, huh? Guess we gotta make one. But we'll have Amara do that. She needs to get her cooking skills up. It's gonna suck though, because all we got in the house now are to a toddler and two babies. Ooh, I'm so nervous. You're not making a cake. What are you doing? Make the cake, make the cake. Resume the chocolate cake. Where is she going? No time for dancing right now. Are you serious? This is a lot. Do I really think I can do this just by myself? Do I really want to kick Christian out of the house? Yeah, I kind of do. Oh, yeah, birth certificates. This hallway seems like a nice place for birth certificates. Sucks because we don't, we only have the ones that we've given birth to with Amara minus number one. Which baby's crying? You are. It is you, Sunny. And then we will throw a social event because we got to get some boys over here. Landon Berman, you're definitely invited. And then the rest of the LaFarts, I suppose. Wow, we don't know that many of LaFarts. Look at, there's only three of them. Minus the ones that we have in the house. Oh my gosh. Time to blow out the candles, my dude. Now, why are we still in a hospital gown? Shouldn't we be in our party outfit? I don't know. All right, Christian. Christian's last trait is that he is clumsy. So he wants to be a public enemy. He's mean. He loves the outdoors and he's clumsy. A lot of just random traits. I want the hot doctor. There's hot doctor. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, uh, doctor. Let's pick up where we left off, sweetheart. What are you doing? Don't you play on my computer? Why are the men that I'm always trying to invest myself in? Yeah, that's right. That's right. No computer for you, mister. Go get him. You go get him, girl. I think hot doctor likes us. See, doc, last time I saw you, you were wearing that, and I was wearing this. And I really like his hair and his mustache. I mean, who wouldn't love her, honestly? She makes that hospital gown look good. Okay, but yes, we do need to hurry this up because we do have a crying baby. Best birthday party ever yeah 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 but hurry up for real good lord go feed your baby and then take a pregnancy test come on come on hurry before the party's over hot doctor will only be here for so long aha uh -huh, there we go there we go well now we just gotta wait for the party to be over so we can kick out our brother and then it will just be us and our new little family no more lame little brothers keeping us down oh my god both of the babies are crying oh god so many sad babies you know what dude yeah before you leave how about you go ahead yeah. and 
feed your nephews and then and then you can go home to your new house wherever that is oh Lionel, that's right isn't he a vampire we'll figure it out i'm not seeing his dad anywhere all right i think he can go live with his two brothers cool now it's just us i don't care if you will want to do this shit kid we're gonna get you potty trained whether you like it or not our Maid looks pretty tired though. Sorry to leave all this piss all over the floor for you. But now we have no one in this house who goes to school, so we're just gonna be here. When are these babies' birthday? I'm already over this shit. Tomorrow! Ah, okay, we're halfway through today. We can make it. I see you, children. One of you is gonna start crying, and mommy's trying to do some freelance work. So both you need to chill for the next seven hours until I can age you up. And then we'll have a house full of toddlers, and that's just the bee's knees. All right, there it is. What do you gotta do? Get your communication up? All right, good. So, we just need communication and potty, which we're almost there on bowl. You think that you're gonna take care of that baby, but you're actually gonna age it up, because it is their birthday. All right, Jimmy is wild. Great, that'll really make it easy on me. Oh, he's got the same I hair as his one. sister. And Sunny is a charmer. How cute. Has that always been a trait they can have? Oh my god, and the little hat. Oh. He definitely looks like a little girl with flowers and pink pants, but you know what? That's okay. He, maybe he'll just grow up to be a little feminine. It's all right. Mommy needs to potty train Hyundai. The other two need to get started drawing with llama. Everyone's going to be getting their skills going so that maybe today we can have a birthday party for Hyundai. Okay, so all we need is communication. Let's talk to mom about stuff. <gasps> Hooray! Now it's time to throw a party. Time to make a cake. All right, Hyundai. All the love farts. And I guess her dad can come over too. All right, right, baby boo. All right, Hyundai is so, uh, she's a social butterfly. And she's outgoing. Aww. Oh my God, look at that glitter shirt. Oh my God. I would say come eat this cake, but I'm gonna just save it for later. You know how much work it is to bake a cake? Yeah, y'all can eat my mac and cheese. It's pretty good quality. Yeah, excellent quality, I would say. Oh, hell no. Not at your sister's birthday party, kid. Well, you're lucky I'm gardening right now. Damn, so many dead plants. Why do we have so many? dead plants when we have a freaking gardener so in order for our sweet Hyundai to do well in school oh she's already got a skill up to level two she's good just needs a few days at school she'll be great just be smart okay kid I need a teenager in the house to take care of the kids it's prank day apparently so can I be mischievous to my own child that is the question I can which is kind of sad oh <laughs> he's a naked baby Nagy baby needs to go potty. Finally. Yeah. We need to have a baby. Let's go to the hospital. Oh, hey, who's that? It could be our doctor friend and also the baby daddy. Oh, yeah, he's delivering his own baby. That's pretty awkward. Do you think OBGYNs do that? Like males, obviously? Probably not. Yeah, no, that's too weird. But this guy don't care about weird. I'm gonna ask him to just be friends while he's delivering the baby. Oh, it's a girl named Lana. Oh, hi, Lana. We'll cuddle the baby and then we'll go home. Now, the last thing we have to do before we end this episode is just go ahead and get Amara just all knocked up again. You know how it is. It is three o'clock in the morning. Where are all the boys at? Hmm, where's all the boys? Let's do one more round of potty training here and then we'll call someone over. Oh god, who died? Oh, Sherry died. Rest in peace, Santa's baby. I don't think these kids ever even knew Sherry. Why are you even all that upset? What? Again? Bitch! Jagger, our crazy, crazy boy. Got a lot of old people in here. Might as well start uh, working on them. Hooray, Nathan. I'm so glad. Wow, he got here really fast. Like, he knew exactly what this was. He's thinking about my computer. Hold on, sir. I have to fix this radio real fast. He's going downstairs. He's gonna go find the fucking computer. Can Damn it. Listen, I am extremely confident, but I also just had a baby, so please allow me to sit while we have this romantic conversation. He's bored. I'm sorry. There's no way this motherfucker is bored. I feel like she's gotten like faster at uh, creating relationships here. Where are we going? Hello? I don't, you don't need to be watching your toddler. Probably should be watching this strange old man in your house, but that's just me. All right, now we can try for a baby. All right, come on. Okay, good. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> We're pregnant again. Wonderful. Time to end this episode here. Damn. I don't know how this is going to come out when I'm editing it, but this was a long playthrough. There was a lot of gameplay happening today, and I am tired. Next time, we'll pick back up, but we had three babies this episode. That, that's, that's something. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.
you said that.